protests rocked this small South African farming town in 2017 after two white men were accused of murdering a black teenager. The court heard how 16-year-old Matlamola Maswao was pushed off a moving vehicle after farm workers caught him stealing sunflower seeds. Since then, a reconciliation process led by various local churches has been hard at work to cross the racial divide and unite the community. Communities will have to decide. We make this broken world a better place for ourselves. And if we don't do it, no one else will do it for us. Pastor Bella Lemotlo has lived in Kalini all her life and works with Pastor Peters on the reconciliation project. Before we were living in peace, harmony with the white people, we didn't to fight each other. It was so good. Despite a relative calm over the last two years, there are still glaring inequalities in Kalini and in the rest of the country, 25 years after apartheid. From the outside, the most visible heritage of this time is still the way many towns are divided along color lines. The white people are, are staying in a town, and there is a black people in town who are staying there. So the thing is, there is no white person who is staying in township. <laughs> This school principal testified about the racial issues in Kulini during Matsuo's murder trial. He says that while not all whites were racist, this particular crime was racially motivated. If it was a white boy, do you think they would have done that? No. They would not even go to the police station. I think they would have gone to the, to the parents and say, man, this boy is messing our land. One month after the men were handed down jail terms of 23 and 18 years for the so-called sunflower murder, the situation in Kalini is calm. But this divinely brokered peace could come to an abrupt end in May as the men lodged their appeal.